Welcome to the Citra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll be exploring the Lane Movements dialog. We will use a freeway interchange as an example. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. An origin destination OD movement from an approach lane to an exit lane by a movement class is defined as a lane movement. Under the Network tab, double-click the network named Freeway Interchange. Right-click the site named Interchange West and select Lane Movements to open the input dialog. The Lane Movements dialog is used to specify lane flow proportions and blockage calibration data under separate tabs. Click View Display to show the layout picture. Use the Approach Selector and Lane Editor or the Layout Picture to select lanes. The Flow Proportions tab is used for specifying lane movement flow proportions for use in network analysis. These are specified by Movement Class. The default settings for lane movement flow proportions are determined by the program automatically by allocating 100% to the most direct or closest exit lane. In cases where traffic uses more than one exit lane, lane movement flow proportions need to be changed. In this example, let's distribute the lane movement flow proportions evenly among the three through movement exit lanes. The sum of the lane movement flow proportions must be 100%. The default settings of lane movement flow proportions can be reinstated by using the Reset to Defaults function. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Save the project. Under the Blockage Calibration tab, Lane Blockage Calibration factors are specified for each lane movement. These apply to all movement classes belonging to a given lane movement. The lane blockage calibration factors are used to reduce or increase the capacity reduction effect of the downstream lane blockage on the upstream lane capacity. The values of this parameter below 1 will decrease the effect of lane blockage, and the values above 1 will increase the effect of lane blockage. The default settings of lane blockage calibration factors can be reinstated by using the Reset to Defaults function. This concludes our tutorial on the Lane Movements dialog. Thank you for watching.